This is an overview of the team member box overlay. And what's nice about it is it has a directional hover effect, which means that if I hover from the bottom, then the sliding effect will be from the bottom to the top. If I do it from the right side, it will come from right to left. So let's get started. To get started, drag the team member box overlay into your Elementor column. This is a team member box with a nice hover effect. The team member box has an overlay that when you hover over the box, you can show social icons and also some text. It also has a title and a subtitle for your team member. I'm going to show you how to customize this and create this for your needs. The first setting is title and subtitle. So these are for changing the text over here. The next setting is for the image. You can add any image size that you want and then adapt it in style according to the height that you want or leave it to be the original image size. Over here in layout, you can turn on or off different parts of the team member box. For example, if I don't want to see this bottom content part, I can just turn that off and then I just have a nice hover box over here. Let's turn that back on. You can turn on or off every different part, the title, the subtitle, also the text overlay, for example, if you don't want that, you just turn that off and there you go. Social icons, maybe you just want the text and you don't want the social icons, so you can turn them off as well. The way you edit the social icons is over here. So you have an option for each one. So for example, I'm gonna call this one Facebook. You can paste your Facebook link over here and choose any icon that you want. Let's switch this Facebook icon to this one, for example, and that's about it. You can add as many items as you want, delete items. For example, let's delete one of these. Let's rearrange the items. Let's give this one a title as well. Paste your Twitter link over here. And there you go, Twitter and Facebook rearranged. If you want to add a new item, you click add item. Let's jump into style and see how we can style everything. So as I said before, right now the image, the height of the image is auto. It's showing the full image. If you want to crop the image and show just a different height in pixels, this field is responsive. So for example, I'll set it to 211 over here. And right now this field is responsive. I can go between different screen resolutions and determine the height, or you can just take that field off and now it's showing the full image. Box radius is for the radius around the whole box. We can make our box rounded, so as you can see. And uh, let's just give it also a border so you can see that better. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but the overlay is a directional overlay. Look at, look at that. The overlay is entering from right to left when I hover from the right side. And when I hover from the left side, it's hovering from left uh, to right from the top, from top to bottom, and from the bottom, from bottom to top. So that's really awesome. And I'm gonna show you at the end how I make a layout with a couple of these boxes and how awesome that looks. So pretty awesome. Let's check out what else we have over here. So overlay, we can change the overlay color. As you can see, looking awesome. Content, this is for the content down here. Let's push up the padding to make some more space. Let's push it up to 40. We can make our content and uh, our content part have a different background color, as you can see, and give it a border. You can align this differently. For example, if you want to align it to the left or something like that, looks awesome. Overlay text. So over here, this is the text that's showing right now. It's showing a phone number, but you can change it to whatever you want in the content. And uh, as you can see, we can snap that to the top, for example instead of snapping it to the bottom, which also looks awesome, and change its background. Let's change it to like a bluish color, just so you can see that. And typography, padding, whatever you want. Let's push up the padding. That will make it a little bit bigger. Let's push it back to the bottom. Looking awesome. So title and subtitle, typography and colors and spacing between those. You can go over here, change the spacing between those change the colors of each one of these and you're set to go 
Inside of social icons, we can determine the social icon size. So because I just left only two, now I can make these bigger and change the border. Let's change the border, for example, to a dotted border, for example, looking so awesome. And you can change all the hover colors and colors of these two icons and do whatever you want, actually. So I want to thank you guys for joining and I'll see you in the next video.